Hi, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, darling. It is always a blessing to have you guys here in my room, <laughs> in my bedroom, y'all. I'm in bed, okay? So, yes, it is what it is, honey. I was just about to go to sleep and not to sleep. I was go going to go ahead and take a shower. And I figured I'd just go ahead and, and do this quick read in my room um, before I head to my bathroom and take a nice hot bath and go to sleep. So, nevertheless, your girl is here, okay? So, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. For, the, for those of you that are new, we do pray here on the channel, okay? So, I am going to get into a quick pray. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tap into your energy and pull some messages through. But just know that this is a general reading and not a personal one. So it may or may not resonate with some of you. Take what doesn't leave the rest, my darling. You know, don't force it. If it don't fit, let it quit, all right? Um, if you do need a personal reading, the information that you need will be in the description part of this video. Um, and for cross watchers, this one could resonate for you as well. Place your person where you need to place your person. The roles could be reversed. Place them in the past, present, or future, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and pray and pull some messages here and then get the tarot and clarify some things for you guys, all right? Let's pray, Scorpio. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Scorpio. I hope y'all is doing amazing and fabulous. I hope that y'all had a beautiful Valentine Day. Okay. All right, honey. Let's get into some messages here. What's the message here, please? What's the message here? What's the message for Scorpio? What's the message for Scorpio? Let's see what's coming to Scorpio. You are so beautiful. Somebody needed to hear how beautiful they are. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Why do you need me? You are so beautiful, right? Somebody knows okay scorpio that you can have anybody that you want to be with somebody knows that you are you're you're a trophy okay somebody knows that you deserve better let's just say tell me more i just want you all the time all right so this person wants you all the time and they feel like they don't deserve you this person feels like they don't deserve you, okay? Um, I'm feeling like this person wants to have you all the time in their presence. You already know is what they're saying. You already know how they feel about you. Wow. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio. What's the energy at this time? What is it that I need to share at this time? What do you want? So they're asking, what do you want? Do you want to really be with me? Is it me that you really truly want to be with? Tell me more, Angel. What's the message? I need um, time for you, all right? Um, for some of you, you may feel like this person is not giving you the time, Scorpio, that you need. Is what they're saying loud and clear. I need time for, I need time for me. All right, so they feel like they're not giving you the time or this could be you not giving them the time or they need to focus on themselves here. All right, is what's coming through. This person says, I need time for me. Maybe you're not spending enough time or something. I just want space. Oh my goodness. Listen, this these messages is coming in like, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, because somebody's saying, I want I need more, I need time for me, all right? So, I don't know why I'm feeling as if, um, even though someone is saying here, okay, I like you a lot, you're very nice, you're very um, beautiful or attractive or handsome or whatever the hell, just take the roles as they come, okay? But on the other hand, somebody is wondering, why you even want to be with me, though? Why are you even choosing me to be your partner, Okay? Um, because you could do way better than, than me, all right? 
Um, and But on the other hand, I'm feeling like somebody still is not ready, even though they know that you have really strong feelings, because I'm, I'm getting strong feelings here, okay? But I'm really feeling as if someone is, is on the edge. I need time for me. So someone is being like, I don't know if I could really give you any of me because I need time. Maybe they feel like you're not having time for them or they don't have time for you. But when this card came through, I just want space. Someone is like, mm, I don't know if I want to be tied down in a relationship. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. Let me see what's coming true here, okay? I'm going to pull these two and then we're going to get the tarot and clarify some things, okay? Yeah, they're saying that they're sorry about that. They're sorry about how they feel about having needing space, okay? They're sorry about how they feel about not able, not being able to kind of resonate with you as far as how you want them to be in your life at this present moment. They just cannot. I feel like this person is saying, I cannot force the way that I feel. I don't want to lose you though. I really don't want to lose you, but I just cannot force myself to, to have anything that is committed right now. I just cannot afford force myself to, to give in because I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want to hurt you. You deserve way better than me. Mm. Oh my jolly. Let's clarify these cards up. Scorpio, let's clarify these cards up, okay? Let's clarify these cards. Let's see what's happening here. All right, angels, clarify these messages, please, for Scorpio, please. Please clarify, please, for Scorpio. Please clarify for Scorpio. What's the message here? Clarify these cards, please. Okay, so see, this person has a lot going on, okay? They have a lot going on within themselves. Um, it's not like, you know, you're doing anything to have them feeling the way that they feel about moving forward with you. It's them and their own issue. They're dealing with a lot on their end. This is why they need space, and this is why they feel like you deserve better. Now, this is a five of wands, all right? So, this is how their life is. Your, this is how your, this person' life is at this moment. And again, place them where you need to place them, past, present, or future. But this is how their life is setting. At this moment, they're dealing with a lot of drama. They're dealing with a lot of conflicts. They're dealing with a lot of people that is fighting and wearing masks and doing all kinds of stuff, okay? They deal with a lot of people that is tapping into their energy, causing chaos, causing confusion, um, having things go from left to right, from right to left, up and down, around in a circle and back. And this is why they are having a really hard time resonating, not just with you, but with anything that has to do with a relationship of any kind. All right. Um, I do feel like you need to know that it's not your insecurity, but it's theirs because they already said that you deserve way better than this. All right. They know you deserve way better than this. And if they was to be with you, um, you know, this is what they would bring to you because they have to take care of this situation before they could be or commit, be committed to anyone. Because if you was to walk into something like this, the relationship would only fall apart because they're presently dealing with a lot of bullshit in their life, okay? This could be something from their past. This could be their inner demon, whatever the hell they're dealing with, okay? They have to walk away from this, okay? They're going to have to leave everything behind in order to be with you. And in order to, look at that, this is a deck card, okay? They have a lot of things going on here. Yes, they want to be with you. Yes, they want to, um, to love you and want to be able to let their guards down and be with you. But there's too many things going on here, all right? Too many things. They have a choice that they have to make and they have a decision that they have to make here. But something has to end, and I do feel like they're having a difficult time ending this something um, in order to be with you, in order to make a commitment to you. Um, let's just say in order to start something, okay? Something that they find that they have found themselves in, 
and they now they're going to have to find themselves out because you won't be able to change anything is what i'm hearing there's nothing that you could do to change it i mean you could talk but you can't change it this is going to be something on their part and just know that this does is something that would affect any relationship that they tend to go into because i'm hearing that ha that cycle is going to have to end or else nothing is going to work on their part, okay? I feel like this person is very unhappy at this present moment. I feel like they're dealing with a serious um, situation here that is calling for help, right? And you're not able to help this person at this moment, okay? You can love them and you could continue to love them and you could continue to support them, but right now, no. Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. What is coming, what is coming through, all right? So this is the magician, okay? All right, so with the magician being here, this is a form of manifestation here. This is a form of new beginning. Someone is really praying and seeking help. Now, just know that this magician being here, this could represent your person's energy because they're coming in as they're dealing with a lot of things, okay? Um, I feel like if this resonates with your person, um, because they're dealing with a lot here, and because they have things from their past, present, or future, whatever the hell, they're going to have to get all of this, let all of this go. This is called all baggage, okay? Baggage. Let us tell it as it is. It's all, it's all baggage. So if they come to you right now, they're coming towards you with baggage. Um, they have been really praying to, to, to whoever they pray to, whether it's God or spirits or whoever, Jesus or just whoever. They're praying a lot and they're manifesting a lot. And they've been resting and they've been really finding, trying to find themselves, trying to have space is what they said. I just want space. Okay. So this is a space that they're resonating to and trying to find a sense of peace. Now, if this is you, I see you praying to have this person in your life. Okay. But just know that you cannot force that even though you want to manifest here, but you have to manifest your happiness for yourself. Um, and that happiness is one that brings um, stability and balance in your life, okay? And once you achieve that, all things will be added to you, is what you need to know. But you cannot force that because your person is not ready. This person is not ready and they have great reasons why not to be ready. Because if they should come in right now, um, you won't be able to get this, okay? This is the Ten of Pentacles. Here, that's what they really want this. They're really searching and yearning for this. This is what they need here as well. As much as you need this in your life, as much as they do. But they cannot offer anyone this right now until they have cleansed the demon. Okay? Until they have cleared the air. Until they have found a way to walk away from every single thing that has brought them down. I just feel like this situation is a situation where... They might have been struggling with this for a very, 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 very long time is what I'm hearing, okay? It's not just something that started last week. It's not just something that um, started yesterday. This is a struggle I'm hearing that's been going on for a while. And then now it's getting like out of control. Um, I'm hearing that you should pray for this person. And... Pray to the Heavenly Father to just ask to kind of take away whatever fear or whatever issues because there's nothing that God can change. But as far as forcing a relationship, um, that wouldn't be the case right now. That wouldn't be wise. I would say continue to strengthen that person and continue to be there as a friend because the best relationship is the one that starts out as friends. And I feel right now because of what this person is, is going through, I'm hearing a friendship is more important than anything else. Okay, yeah. This is the um the eight of uh, wands. They're building fear. They're having fear here. Okay. They're having fear is what I'm seeing. And this fear is also bringing in this nine of swords. Okay. Um, they're very um indecisive at times. And it's not because they choose to be indecisive. It's just because they have no choice. And this is how they feel at this moment. But I'm getting that. Um, they've been dealing with a lot of anxiety and not only anxiety, but they've been dealing with a lot of depression. See, they have not told you this. Um, this is, um, what they're really looking for, the Ace of Pentacles, but their stability is not right. Their balance is not right. Their money is off. 
um whatever it is they feel like they need to achieve is not going accordingly okay and this is why they're not forcing themselves into manifesting with you which is the queen of pentacles they know that you are all about building blocks here but they're not on your level of building blocks and i feel like you need to know that this person may be feeling a little bit intimidated at times and um you know very embarrassed and this is why it's, it's coming back to your beginning of your reading where this person did say um you are so beautiful why do you need me this is because they know that they're not on your level of giving okay and so just know that it's not because they don't love you or not because they don't see you as uh, a person of great interest or a person that they would want to be with forever it's just that they feel like you deserve better because they're not able to give you what you need at this moment okay what they need is a friendship over a relationship at this present will things change later yes it will but you have to let this person know that i'm here i'm here for you as a friend but not force anything to go further at this moment okay that is going to be your reading for um today scarpio i hope it did resonate with you guys Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already because those thumbs up really helps, okay? Now, if you do need to have a prayer request, don't hesitate to put your initials in the comment section as well and let me know that you need a prayer request for yourself, for your person, for your family, for your friends, for your children, cousins, uncles, brothers, whoever, okay? Just let me know that you need one. While you're doing that, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Because prayer goes a very far away. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you'll always find later. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, Scorpio. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, I welcome you. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond, shine bright like a diamond. Also, my darlings, for those of you that are new here, we do pray here on the channel, okay? So I am going to get into a quick pray, tap into your energy and pull these messages through. Um, take what's yours, leave the rest, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, peace and your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, my darling. So just know that because it's a general reading, it may or, or it may not resonate with you. Please take from the reading what does resonate with your situation and just go ahead and leave what didn't, okay? Now, it could pick up your person's energy. Now, it's up to you to place that person where you need to place them. It could be a past person. It could be a future person. And it could be one that's past, present, future, okay? Just place them where they need to be placed. Um, if you do need to have a personal one, you could always connect with me using the information that you'll find in the description part of this video to set up an appointment to have a personal reading done. Okay, cross watchers, same thing goes for you as well. Okay, my angel is out of frame, y'all. Out of frame, out of what? Let's see. Hold on, y'all. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we could get our angel a little bit adjusted here. Let's try. If not, it is what it is, ain't it? Okay. Oh, that's better. Better, better. Okay, so I'm going to get... Uh, this is a reading for Scorpio, okay? Now, Scorpio, I'm going to find out what's coming towards you within the next 48 hours, all right? Also, I'm going to pull a, a Bible verse for you guys. You might want to read that Bible verse tonight. And then I'm going to get an angel message for you guys. And I'm also going to get an angel to, for you to resonate with. This angel will kind of help to, to guide you into some clarity that you might need. And this angel will also assist me with your reading tonight. Okay? So let me go ahead and get you guys an angel message here. All right. So we have... What do we have here? We have John's chapter 15, verse 7. John's chapter 15, verse 7. 
And that says, if you remain in me and my word remain in you. That's what it says. You might want to go ahead and just um, pick the scripture up and go ahead and read that, okay? That was That's what came through for you tonight. All right, so let's get, let me get an angel message here. What's the message here? Angel, what's the message here? What's the message? What's the message here? For Scorpio, please. What's the message for Scorpio in the next 48 hours? So we have three of, of thoughts. Now the three of thought, thought says, loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clarity how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Amen to that. Amen to that, honey. All right, so this is your angel. You want to write this angel down, okay? All right, what is your purpose here in your number placement in line? We have the angels of past life, number 23. That will be your angel that came through. Thank you, angels, for coming through. Angels of past life, number 23. Okay, write this angel on white paper or parchment. Oh, energy. Write this angel on parch paper, parchment paper or white paper if that's what you have. This angel will resonate for your situation that you are presently dealing with, okay? All right, let's see what's coming through for you guys in the next 48 hours, okay? It could be whatever. It could be your love life. It could be um, your finances, whatever, okay? Just take what's yours, leave the rest. Roles could be reversed. Place your person where you need to place them, honey. Okay, tap into the NG. What's the message? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? Next 48, please. Next 48. All right. Next 48, we're getting that you might need to ask your angel, okay, for guidance, but also that your health needs to be improved, right? You need to take much better care of yourself. They say that it's up to you to do that, okay? But it's critical to do those that step in the next 48. You need to take action, okay? It's take action. I'm hearing don't just say you will, but actually do what you say that you'll do, okay? But your life journey is calling for you to take the action that is needed here. Next 48. Next 48, what is it that you need to share with Scorpio? Next 48, please. Next 48, I'm getting listen to your intuition. Your intuition speaks you loud and clear with the situation that you're dealing with. The situation is going to improve within the next 48. You shouldn't stop. Keep pushing, keep going. Um, things are unlikely to change here. Um, and the change is given a peaceful resolution. So it is going to dissolve is what I'm hearing. Okay, Whatever it is that may be obstructing your judgment here, Within the next 48, you'll definitely get a sign here, an answer, okay? All right. What's the message here, please? What's the message for Scorpio? What's the message <coughs> for Scorpio, please? Next 48. Next 48, please. What's the answer that I seek for Scorpio within the next 48 hours? Next 48, clarity, please, for Scorpio. Scorpio, please. What's the message for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio at this time, angels? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? What is the message for Scorpio at this time? What is the energy? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? All right, Scorpio. So I am getting the next 48 is bringing in a masculine energy here. Very powerful energy, all right? But I'm seeing deception that's coming towards you. Not only deception is coming towards you in the next 48, but I'm getting temptation here with this masculine. I'm getting also confusion here. Um, I'm getting Neptune is bringing in an illusion here. Um, integration union, this should not happen. I'm getting uh, guarded here, or someone is being very vulnerable here in the next 48. Now, stability is what you want in harmony, but you have to go with the flow within the next 48. 
um, partying is not going to help the situation here. I'm getting internal or external here. Uh, but someone is, 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 is living on a memory here. This memory is giving me nostalgia. Next 48. Next 48, please. What is it that I need to share with Scorpio? Next 48. Next 48 hours. Next 48, please. Angel, next 48. All right. So there is a forming structure here that is yearning for a solid foundation here. This foundation more feels like a facade. A facade is giving me belief. Believe what you see. Um, I'm getting present. It's coming into the next 48 hours. Um, this present needs to come true in an abundance or one that feels more like gratitude here. But because it's not coming in another abundance or, or gratitude, I'm getting a, a de-attachment here. Someone has de-attached themselves. Um, or, or someone is feeling like they've been left in the cold or this is how one feels on the other end. Roles could be reversed. Place the roles where they need to be placed. Next 48 is giving me a freedom here. A sense of freedom that you might have to leap into um, for opportunities to come your way. Um, you may need some kind of assistance. I do feel that assistance is coming in in the form of a spirit guide here. I'm getting a Leo, Aries, or Sag energy here. This person wants to come in and help, okay? Uh, but there's a lack of interest and doubt that I'm seeing here. What's coming towards you in the next 48? Next 48 for Scorpio, please. Next 48, I'm getting... All right, so there's a twin flame that is coming through here. This twin flame and you serve a chemistry. One that feels more like a passion here. That's coming true, but I'm getting faith, y'all. I'm getting you might not have to detour here uh, because that's there's an, a divine intervention. This divine intervention is coming through as karma, balance, and justice here. Uh, maybe there's something hidden that you don't know about. Okay, I'm getting messages. You maybe heard something um, in your dreams, okay? That is called clarity. I'm getting a separation is in the effect. Or someone is longing for someone. Someone is not there as how you would want them. I'm getting isolation is what you may be feeling or doing or needing or yearning. Inner thoughts. Distance and retreat or time out is needed here from that energy. Okay. That's coming true within the next 48. I'm getting empathy here. Um, That's giving me a breakthrough. It's coming towards you in the next 48 hours. Clarify, please. Clarify. Clarify for Scorpio, please. Clarify for Scorpio, please. Angels, please clarify. Clarify the message here. All right. So I'm getting a release here that needs to be surrendered here. The surrender is giving me a purge. All right. If someone is maybe trying to, to um, detox oneself here, action is needed. Courage is needed. I'm getting Jupiter for this new beginnings is what I'm hearing. Tell me more. Tell me more, angels. What's the message here for Scorpio within the next 48 hours? Next 48 hours, please. What's coming in towards Scorpio within the next 48 hours, please? Next 48. What's the message for Scorpio? Next 48, please. What's the message? What's the message? Next 48. Next 48 hours. Next 48. Next 48. So what's coming in towards Scorpio at this time, next 48, next 48, okay, I'm getting, uh, I don't know how, I really don't know you, all right, so someone is not sure who this person is, all right, um, this could be you, this could be them who's feeling this way, I hope you're happy, so you guys are either trying to make a decision or a choice or somebody already did, in that moment, that person did not care how one feel, okay? Yes, it's too late. It's too late to come back. It's too late to apologize because I'm getting something must have been said here. All right? Next 48. Somebody's going to reveal something here. Um, and I'm getting it is coming. I'm getting prepared for the outcome. Clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Please clarify these messages past, present, future for Scorpio, please. Please clarify, angels. These messages for Scorpio, please, at this time. Past, present, future. Past, present, future, please.
All right, Scorpio. So on the back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, all right? So you're walking away from anything that has caused you drama here, okay? There's a lot of conflicts here. There's a lot of disappointments, a lot of um, mind game over matter, situation that you feel like is not atta not attached to you anymore. Um, I feel like someone's ready to cut loose here because of the signs that's been seen. I do feel like there may be some kind of a mask that's been worn here, okay? All right, let's talk about this. In the past, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We do have the Nine of Swords also in the reverse and the Hermit in the reverse, okay? I feel like you've been healed or you try to heal from whatever it is that's been holding you back, Scorpio, in your past, right? In the past, you've been through a lot of things here. You've suffered heartbreak. You've suffered emotional loss. You've su suffered betrayal. You've suffered people um, constantly kind of harming you or hurting you in the same area, constantly you have given your all you've given yourself and in the return you feel like the trust and your loyalty that you gave was taken away from you a, a split second okay but what i do see here in the past you have healed from this you've, you've been trying to really tap into yourself and healing yourself from the devastation that you might have felt with this nine of swords okay That's what i see you doing um walking away from our building strength to not having anything that is negative coming towards you here because you've already had your stage of feeling bored or having that things wasn't coming your way or things or you was didn't know if the situation was would be given towards you anymore um but i do feel like there's someone that is still stuck here or someone that is still trying to figure their way out or themselves out um but it's only it has only set back movement here in the past because someone is very indecisive here okay now this present form brings in the six of wands it brings in the king of swords it brings in the five of wands okay now there's been a lot of back and forth with emotions here not only is emotions been going back and forth but what i do see here is um people who are just tapping into energy and bringing a lot of arguments and conflicts here situation that seems to be going left and further right i do feel communication is is has all time lost here um situation that is trying to place itself here in the present but having a difficult time doing that because there, there's a lot of doubts here now there's, there's someone in your energy that really wants to be the shining star here um, someone that this person may be a person of great interest where people look up to that person as the leader, as the ruler. But this real this this ruler is coming in as a king of swords. This person really brings drama and confusion here. Um and deception. Okay. Um, they're not really sure where they want to be or where they want to go, even though they at times they show you that's what they really want. But because of the energy that this person has, they're really very I'm on the fence here. It's like they're night and day, day and night, up and down, around in the back. They're not really certain about where they need to be placed at this moment. If they need to be placed here in your life or if they need to be placed over all the way over here, okay? Now, because of this past, present, and future um, energy that is coming together, it really pulls through an emotion of rush here what's coming in towards you as far as your future is concerned, moving forward, Okay. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we do have the the um, em Emperor here also in the reverse and the Two of Wands. Okay. Now you've made a decision is what I see coming in. You're about to make that decision. The decision has been made because one is tired of waiting around here. You don't waiting around to, to figure out where you need to be really. If you need to be in, in this or in that. Or just trying to make a general overall change. And blocking something and moving forward here is what I see you have happening with you, okay? Now, emperor is the type of a person who is there. They know what they want. They are about they 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 put rules and plans here. They stand tall to what they believe, and they are about manifesting and this, that, and the third. But for you, this person is not really on that level of manifestation, okay? Because of what they are in the now versus what they should be, what's to come. Um, the Six of Pentacles energy has been blocked here, blocked in the form of um, deception here, which you feel like you have been given the situation all that you can have given. You have held the situation all that you could have helped, but it's not coming back in towards you the way that you thought. I do feel like this person 
is really selfish in one sense of the word versus in the other side of the word. And now you're starting to really see it for what it really is and what, what it really has brought towards you is what I'm getting, Scorpio. And I don't feel like you're about to make a solid decision is what I feel that you're getting ready to do. Because for some of you, you're just tired of being burnt all the time. It's like right at this point, you feel like you've been given everything that you can and not really getting it back. And this is where I feel like you're at your crossroads. Um, I see you. I see you making a solid decision that will be set in stone. Is what I see you doing here, because you don't want to take any more risk here with this King of Swords. You're not about taking any more risk here, even though there is a lot of um, attraction between you and this person. This brings a lot of conflicts here. Okay, it brings a lot of conflicts to the point where you feel like you cannot fix these conflicts anymore, Scorpio, and it's taking a lot of your uh, thought as far as you know thinking straight the way you really want to pull things together especially for some of you you have to go to work you have children you have people that depend on you you're having a hard time focusing because this is that draining your energy and i feel like you're about to end this and really start taking much better care of yourself on a mental level especially where your health is concerned because angel just said that you need to take care of yourself much better okay all right, so this is going to be your read for the night. Before I end this, let me remind you guys that I will be attaching another read to this one, okay? Um, you guys are not getting my uploads. It's not just you guys. It's everybody. Um, the signs that I do, um, no one is, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube train, but my uploads are not being sent out. You guys call me and, and, and tell me that you're not receiving emails that I get, messages on Instagram. Um, the only thing I could tell you guys is just go ahead and kind of re rearrange your notification bell, that little bell right here, kind of tap, tap on it and kind of set it to set all and see if that helps. But otherwise, y'all, I do upload. When you guys are asking me if I don't upload, yes, I do. It's just that you are not getting my notifications when I do upload videos, all right? If you check my, my playlist, you'll see that I upload every day here, okay? Okay. So that is it, y'all. I will be attaching another video here for you guys, and I will be doing that for a pretty long time until something changes, um, so that way you guys don't miss out on my reads, all right, on your messages. So if you do need to have a prayer request, go ahead and put your initial down below. Um, pray for me, y'all, as I will be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first, and you're always fine. Happy, happy Valentine's Days again. I love you guys so, so, so much. Talk to you later. Bye for now.